Imagine this: your child, your sibling, your friend, is going to jail in the next few days, and you get the news that he is going to jail. What would you think in that moment? What has he done? But there's one story, one story that reflects how young people go to jail. A young man was serving a sentence in jail when a holy man came to visit him. He grieved to see him among the hardcore criminals. He put his hand on his shoulder, and with a loving look, he asked him, "My friend, how is it that you too are here?" The young man was deeply moved, and with tears in his eyes. Replied in a low voice, "I would not be here if someone had only put his hand on my shoulder like this before. No one cared for me. No one loved me. It deeply touches my heart." Now let's go back to the question: your child, your sibling, your friend. The news comes through the phone. Now what would you think? Did you love him enough? Did you love her enough? Did you give him or her enough time? Attention, love, care, affection—you name it. This deeply touches my heart and many hearts, and many individuals who are not loved, who are not appreciated enough. And you know what, friend? You are special. You are special. You don't have to doubt yourself. You don't have to doubt yourself. And those of you, sibling, parent, friend, just notice who is unloved in your life. Who is a love? Who do you not show appreciation to? Who is the butt of every joke? Who is sad? The world is ruthless. Don't let your friend, your child, become a victim. Love them, care them, show affection. Leave your ego at home. Otherwise, in the future, one news can come up and it can tear you down faster than a wrecking ball. So love your son, love your daughter, love your sibling, love your friend. Don't accept any BS. I'm not saying that you have to accept any BS. You have to confront and you have to put boundaries. But make sure that you show how appreciative you are. If pushed too far, and if that boy, that girl, the man, that woman, that child, is pushed far enough, he or she can tear holes in themselves that can never be filled. So don't let your ego, stubbornness, your arrogance, be the wrecking ball for someone else. Leave your ego at home. You have to put boundaries, yes, but make sure that you show love to others. You don't have to become the loving people pleaser. Make sure that you show enough love to people around you, so that they don't take any rash action. Parents, siblings, friends. This is a message that I want to get across to everyone. So if you are feeling your ego is hurt from someone you love, let it go. They did not mean it personal. It is life. You get some ups and downs, but don't let your anger, your arrogance, destroy something beautiful. Parents, siblings, teachers, this is my message to you. Share it to someone you love. So this is your homework, my friend. You are watching this. I appreciate that you are watching up to here. This is your homework. Think about one friend that is not a social butterfly, that is an introvert, that does not have much appreciation. Just send him a message. Your sibling, maybe, maybe one of your siblings was left out, not appreciated enough. Send him a message. Tell him or her that they have made a lot of difference in your life. They will appreciate it. Don't worry, they will appreciate it. That's all I want you to do. As I said, and I'm going to say it again, don't let your ego be the wrecking ball of someone else's life. Share this message to everyone.